Good morning, everyone. We are on the road to the Olympics in London, and many athletes are very excited right now, even the ones who are not going, and some are very young. Cynthia is down at the Calgary Gymnastics Centre finding out more this morning. Cynthia, this sounds really interesting. Yeah, this place is amazing. If you haven't been before, it's huge. It's like the biggest jungle gym ever. And Kayla Bonnell is here to tell us a little bit more. I think people probably are surprised as I am when they come in here the first time and see how impressive it is. For sure, absolutely. This gym is, you know, 30,000 square feet. We have three competitive programs with our artistic uh, gymnastics, our uh, uh, men's and women's programs, our trampoline and tumbling. And then we have our gymnastics for all programming with, you know, preschool, kinder gym, recreational facility rentals, birthday parties. There's just so much going on here um, you know we're busy all the time we have you know 3,000 athletes that come through our doors each week holy moly so these kids obviously are more of a like a kids recreational type program but the idea is to kind of give them the idea that they could do this Absolutely. All of our programming is all about achieving your personal best and, you know, working towards high-level uh, gymnastics, whether that's in our recreational program or within our competitive programs as well. Um, you know, we do have um, an athlete right now that's at Olympic Trials, uh, Anicia Eunuch, and she is with our uh, women's program. So we're really excited um, to support her and, you know, make sure that our all of our recreational athletes know that she's there and she's working towards that goal. That's fantastic. It's kind of funny to think of recreational athletes you would think they'd go to the gym and you know run on the treadmill or something, but they come here and they do all of this stuff. They do, and it's really fun for them. That's our biggest thing: is making sure they're you know getting fit and they're working and they're you know working hard, but they're having fun at the same time. So we incorporate a lot of games. We incorporate a lot of you know different fun things. Like you said, it's like a jungle gym in here. So it's it's so fun for the kids when they come in. And so, are there adult programs for like fuddy duddies like me? There is. There's tons of adult programs here. We have um, actually. We will teach you how to do a handstand. A cartwheel will teach you to go on the beam and we'll, we'll teach you all kinds of things. So um, our adult program runs uh, weekly. That sounds like so much fun. I'll have to see if I can swing from the ceiling like a monkey or yeah. something. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's lots of great things to do here at uh, Gymnastics Centre. We're going to look around and see the kids do their thing and uh, find out more about these little Olympians. Cynthia, are you going to jump off a pommel horse? Maybe. That Maybe was i got to get on the pommel horse first. That oh, can yeah. be tricky. That's right. That's hey, the listen thing. to you two. What's the pommel horse? Is that the that's, balance beam? No, no, no. That's the little half balance beam. It's the thicker one and it's oh, got the, the handles. Oh, the handles. And then you go and you do the thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. You weren't a gymnastics guy, Todd? Thanks, oh, Cynthia. Of course I was. Thank you. Me. Yeah, you look, yeah, you look really uh, nimble and agile. I was... Yeah. You do. Why do you, you laugh when you I'm, say that? I'm not laughing. Some young gymnasts are celebrating the Olympics and hoping for their own chance to compete someday. Cynthia is at Calgary Gymnastics Center learning more, finding some little mini Kyle Schufelts down there, I bet, Cynthia. <laughs> Apparently there is one, actually. We might be able to see a little bit of video later, but all these kids look like little Olympians, even if they're just having a heck of a good time. We're joined now by Lindsay Houston to talk about what these kids are doing here behind me. What is this program? Well, this is our Tumble Stars program, and it's our developmental trampoline program that runs during the day. So we will look at kids in kinder gym, preschool, different things like that, maybe kids who really, really love to bounce around on the trampoline <laughs> and tumble and stuff like that, and then give them the opportunity to come more than once a week and still pursue those skills, build strength, flexibility, and all that kind of stuff. It's amazing. I mean, what kid doesn't like bouncing around, of course, but it is amazing to see the ones that kind of focus and you can see them start to go in that direction. Yeah, it's really neat to see the ones where you say, let's see how high you can bounce today. Let's see if you can stay in the middle of the trampoline. Can you climb all the way to the top of the rope? And they get so excited when they do it really well. And you're serious about the strength part because some of these kids, like, they have six packs. <laughs> oh, they definitely, they're some pretty strong kids in here. That's amazing. So that's, I mean, people shouldn't be put off. We've been talking about the Olympics. This is not strictly an Olympics training center. It's for everybody. Oh, there's kids ranging from as young as a year old all the way up to adults who are still doing stuff. And it doesn't matter what sport you eventually want to do. Gymnastics is going to help you in the long run with everything. For, yeah, for sure. All the different balance and the different things that apply to other sports. So when adults come and they're kind of interested, I, I think a lot of people would say, 
way too late in life for me to get involved in that kind of stuff. I think no matter what time you decide to start doing gymnastics, it's going to benefit you, strength, flexibility, coordination, um, and being able to do things like playing in the pit or walking across the balance beam and stuff is going to be really great no matter what age you are. Awesome. Now there's an open house today, can you tell us about that? There is the open house today. It's going to be running from 3 to 6 p.m. Uh, there's going to be coaches all throughout the gym letting the kids play on the equipment. We have a barbecue going on, some face painting for the kids, and you'll have an idea and be able to walk around, see the facility, see the, all, all the different types of equipment and stuff that we have, and ask any questions people have about our programs. Wow, it's fantastic. And the kids must be talking about the Olympics a lot and be excited about it. Oh, definitely. We have a couple athletes that have gone to the Olympics that have come through our facility. Facility. We have one girl right now who is at trials for the Olympics, and we probably have a couple younger kids who are hopefully we'll see at the Olympics in a few more years. It's amazing to think of all the things that are offered here at COP because it really is very much still an Olympic training facility. It definitely is. We still have a lot of rental groups actually that come in. Uh, we have ski teams that come in to use our trampolines, to use our facility and stuff to be able to work on more aerial type skills and stuff like that as well. Oh my gosh. Well, I'd mentioned how big this place is. You can see some of the kids are doing their thing over there. Is there, when you develop a new talent, like parents would probably always be worried about the injuries for their kids. I think this is probably one of the safest places I've ever been working in. We've got mats. Safety is always our number one concern. I'm pretty sure you heard Kayla earlier talking about our one person on the trampoline rule. And we're very, very big on making sure that all of our programs are safe. Kids are using progressions and different things like that so that they're really learning the skill forwards, backwards, and know it inside out before they put it all together. Awesome. Thank you so much. So this is the Gymnastics Center open house today. Make sure you check it out. This is CTV Morning Live. It's 8 o'clock. There is an open house at the Calgary Gymnastics Centre today to celebrate the Olympics. Cynthia is down there this morning checking it out. Cynthia. Yeah, we've been talking about the excitement of the Olympics this morning and um, a lot of kids here, of course, might have those dreams. Scott Raymond is uh, joining us talking about the Super Kids program and this is yeah. sort of one step up from recreational. Yeah, it's more of our transition program. We felt that the gap between recreational and kinder gym to competitive was a big jump for people, ours especially. Yeah, big jump for little people too. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, kids were going from one hour a week to nine hours a week. So that's a big jump. So this fills in the gap roughly three to six hours a week, which helps a lot. Wow, it takes a lot of dedication. Yeah, a lot. So age. we've got a little lineup of kids here and they're doing kind of a, a, a what looks like a really cute little exercise with tiny little bars and whatnot, but this is hard work. Yeah, this is our, uh, our, this is our first year Super Kids, and this is, uh, you know, for, for us it's, uh, it's basic stuff, but for most people it's pretty tough. It's, uh, yeah, so these kids, even at this age and this small, they've already stepped up into the next program. Yep, yeah, so they'll, they'll do a lot of basic stuff, a lot of core uh, strength, flexibility stuff, uh, a lot of handstand work. Uh, I think they're doing L-sits and body positions back here, which is really, really important. Fantastic. We do have some of these kids, uh, the ones a little bit further back, that are potential future competitors. Yep. Uh, behind us uh, on the big bar there, uh, we had Elijah Thompson. He was our uh, first super kid five years ago. He's now a national team member, so that was a big accomplishment for us. Uh, on the rest of the bars, we have um, a bunch of boys uh, that are eight to nine years old, uh, all started through the super kids program, uh, and they, uh, they have a really bright future ahead of them. Wow, and you know, I've asked this already this morning, but what they're doing looks hard on their bodies, but they, they get that strength so they don't end up with injuries. Right, so that's why the conditioning and the core strength is so important, so that we don't end up with, so that, you know, the long term, you know, when men gymnastics, they're gonna peak around the age of 20, 18 to 20, right? So we don't need to kill them now. <laughs> it's kind of a short career, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's short, but, uh, you know, compared to women's, it's long. That's fair enough. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, you. So, I mean, Olympics coming up before you know it, who knows, 2020 or so, some of these kids could end up uh, in the next Olympics. Absolutely, Cynthia. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, this is definitely the place to take your little future Olympian. So many fun things to do and they hardly even understand that they're getting fit and ready for competition. Kayla Bonnell is here to tell us a little bit more about it. And if people haven't been here before, this place is huge and so exciting looking. It is. It's a really a fun house. I and mean, kids, as soon as they walk in, they get excited. They want to be here. <laughs> and they just love all the colors and all of the, you know, the big 
fun shapes and everything. It's just so fun here. It is great. Now you've got programs for all age levels. We've got some little ones here doing a bit of a program. Can you tell us about it? Um, we do. Um, so these guys, they're about a kinder gym age. Um, so we do have our preschool program right down to baby nastics for 12 months. So, you know, you can come in when you're 12 months old. Um, and then we have, yeah, we have our kinder gym um, age kids and then we have recreational age kids for, you know, five and a half, six plus, right up to 18. And then, like I said before, for adults. So it kind of covers all age categories. Um, we try to have a program for everyone, whether it's artistic gymnastics, rhythmic gymnastics, we have yoga. Um, you know, we have a lot of different things here. So there's something for everyone. Yeah, seems like it. And of course, the, some of the people who've been here for a while are going places with this as a, as a Olympic dream. For sure. Like I mentioned before, um, Anicia is at Olympic trials right now. Um, so that's really exciting for our gym. We actually just had one of our trampoline and tumbling athletes um, in Switzerland and she um, competed at the Nissan, Nissan Cup <laughs> um, and she actually won a bronze medal for trampoline. So that's really exciting for us. Um, she is a junior, so she's not eligible for this Olympic Games, but um, hopefully in the future we'll see you know, how that goes for her. Wow, that's fantastic. And all those things that people, when they're watching the Olympics, get to see when you, the rings and the you know, uneven bars balance, all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff, it's all here. It is all here. And you know, it's really exciting for us coming up with the Olympics this year. You know, it creates a lot of buzz around gymnastics, a lot of excitement, and more kids want to get involved. And that's really what we're about. We want to expose the sport to as many people as possible. And we want as many kids to come to our programs and be involved in gymnastics as we can. It's truly a foundation sport. Um, and it has been named by the Olympic Committee, the International Olympic Committee, as a foundation sport um, for all other other sports. So it's, it's huge for people to come and Get involved in it, especially at a young age. Fantastic. Yeah. So you mentioned adult programs and recreational programs. Yes. So <laughs> if you're, uh, you know, at home with your coffee and this, the big, biggest thing you do is walk your poodle. Yeah. <laughs> is this still the place for you? It is. We start our. Some of our adults come in. They, you know, can't do a handstand or a cartwheel or anything like that. And we try to, um, you know, teach them just the basics of gymnastics first, and then we work on it. We have ex-athletes that come in too, and you know, they're obviously at a little bit higher of a level, but it really, really spans um, all uh, all levels. Yeah, the, for sure. Okay, so. I'm a bit of a lump, I guess. Show me something that I can do. All right, we're going to try um, a straddle jump. We're going to do it. We're going to start with a star jump, though, OK? okay. All right, okay. I'm going to show it to you first. Is that OK? OK, okay so we'll stand okay. down here where okay. it's safe on moderately solid ground. All right, so what and this do, is? is we're going to do kind of like a jumping jump. So you're going to open wide. Whoa. Just like that. Want to try? Well, you make it look easy. OK. okay. You have to have pointed toes, though. That's OK. Very it's extra challenging for me because I've got this mic in my hand. So I'm just, I'm jumping and I'm doing a jumping jack. Yeah, jumping jack, so open wide, like a straw. Yeah, there you go. That's awesome. Ta -da. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. And so you're saying a straddle, that's basically a straddle jump? Um, that's how we start our beginners to learn their um, straddle jump. So we get them starting to just open up nice and wide and then we work on getting their knees up and doing a big straddle jump. So once they get up to a higher level. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. So if I can do it, if kids can do it, anybody can do it. And some future Olympians are probably doing it here right now.